At the start of this week, the invasion of desert locusts was confirmed by government. For the last five days, different agencies, including the UPDF, have been engaged in efforts to contain them. In a press conference held at his home in Lukaya on Friday evening, Agriculture Minister Vincent Sempija revealed that the worst is yet to come because right now the locusts are still breeding and therefore not very active. And we are following, we are counting days. We know how many days it will take those eggs to, 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 uh, to hatch. If they hatch, immediately start spraying. However, the real fight against the locust will start within the next 12 days when the locust eggs start to hatch. Their main activity is to consume, eat everything on us, every green. Just count the days. 12 days, it will be a different war. Leo, this one we are just joking. The size, the area in Kenya that has been devastated by this pest, by this uh, uh, locust is equal to the size of Uganda. Unfortunately, the minister says that the available resources can only be used to contain the three swarms which are currently in the country. With the, 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 the amount of resources and the, and, and the tools and the chemicals and all this, you can manage, you can manage for the time being. According to the minister, the current resources need to be increased exponentially if the locust threat is to be ably dealt with. Eight lollies for the, for the human beings, for the soldiers. You need about four lollies for the pumps. You need about two lollies for the water, water bowsers. Then you move, you can see. It's a whole thing. It's really an army itself. The terrain where the locusts have also landed is another hurdle that the ministry is going to have to contend with. These are, these are insects. They don't know whether there is a road. There is, they don't even know whether there is a boundary. They don't know your religion. They don't know anything. They are just doing their own thing. The country's hope now lies in the procurement of an aircraft, which if delivered in time, will turn the tide for the country in the battle against the invading locusts. But the red tape around the procurement is holding back the purchase of these aircrafts. The agreement of hiring a plane has to go through the solicitor general. They don't just do it one day. Then you have to sign these agreements. You sign here, then you send the document to Kenya, where we are hiring from. For now, the Ministry of Agriculture, together with UPDF, are using handheld pumps to spray the locusts.